Hello there. I am so glad that you joined us today. I am Pastor Al, the lead pastor of New Life again the Oro City. I am here to help you be stronger in prayer. I love conversations. I like hanging out and talking with my family and friends over a cup of coffee, over dinner, whatever it may be. I love talking with people dear to me. But among all the people I know, the person I love talking with the most is my wife, Rose or Sister Rosalina. How about you? Who do you love talking with the most and why? But did you know, even though conversations with people we love are important, it is not the most important? In the Bible, there are many records that Jesus went to the mountain to pray. He was very intentional to have a conversation with the Father. He shows us what we need to prioritize the most. This is to commune with God in prayer. Before Jesus started His ministry, he spent 40 days on the mountain to pray and fast. Even when he was already doing great and mighty works, he would go alone and spend time in prayer. Now, if Jesus being God prioritized in prayer, I think we should too. As believers of God, how do we then approach him in prayer? The Bible tells us to approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. It can be found in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. We are to approach God with confidence, knowing that our Heavenly Father loves us. We do not need to be intimidated nor afraid because our Heavenly Father hears us. Another verse tells us, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. That is the word found in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. This means God answers our prayers only if we pray it according to His will. So how do we know the will of God? We will know this by spending time with Him to prayer and reading His word. Yes, reading His Word will help you know His will. You will never go wrong when you pray according to His Word. In fact, one of my favorite ways of praying is praying the Scriptures. Here are the examples. When I feel afraid, I pray, God, You have not given me a spirit of fear and timidity. I have a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. That is in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. When I feel sick, this is how I pray. By his stripes, I am healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. When I feel lack, I pray, my God richly supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus that is found in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. But let's go deeper. Based on your personal prayer life, did God answer all your prayers? God answers our prayers in three ways. It may be yes, no, or not now. When God answers his yes, he opens a door and helps you through it. When God answers no, it is not his will. He knows what's best. When God answers not now, he wants you to grow into the thing you're praying about. So, what do we do when we know that it is not the will of God. We will be persistent and push. We are going to pray until something happens. So right now, I want you to share among your life groups something you are believing for, and together we will push. Pray, 
until something happens. I can't wait to hear this prayer request turn into praise reports. See you around. God bless. Shalom.